Yeah, if anything, we should just start trying to convert them now. Ah, we have to core them for that. <laughs> That's right, I knew that. We actually should not do that, though, because we're about to need a lot of power to core stuff. In fact, I kind of feel like we should unfocus military. Do we unfocus military, or do we focus admin? I think we unfocus military. Because I don't want to focus something else that'll just go a little too far in the other direction for when our new ruler comes in. Uh, which will be a while still. But Okay. Hmm. I don't know, man. It's good that France has high relations with us. They probably won't join against us, is the thing. But, you know. We can call Brittany into this war. Um, you know, to be honest, I actually feel like we might as well. I don't think we're going to be allied with them forever. And we might as well now, because they might be able to help out against England. And getting England out of this war is going to be crucial in making it painless. So I will call them Brittany, sure. It'll turn the tide of, uh, like, the balance of power in our favor as well, which is important. I wish that their navy would help out there. Okay, there they go. Navarra doesn't need it. Heck, man, Navarra has a strong freaking navy. Yeah, because we can get that fort up there. Okay, yeah, this is good. Let's go up to speed four. Kind of just waiting on sieges now, so... Portugal's probably building up a army in one of their other places, but I don't mind. We're going to take over those islands at this point anyways, I think. Do we have any level 2 advisors that are cheaper? No. Can we get a level 2 advisor that would be cheaper? Inflation reduction. We do have a gold province. I think La Mancha is or something like that. 15 influence. What about an inquisitor? That is cheaper. Yeah. Let's do that. I think that's good. Okay. Um, yeah, their army is over there. Okay, I should have figured that was going to happen. That is going to hurt, because Brittany is going to get <laughs> destroyed. Uh, that's okay. After we... Well, hold on. I'm not going to do this before we have all of our armies together. And why are they coming down here? You know why it is? No, we don't have either army set to attach. Hmm. Uh, definitely do that event. I like that event. Where are you going? Won the Siege of Lisboa. There you go. No problem. Capture. No, no ships captured. Darn it. Okay. Uh, that's fine. We have everything that we have claims on sieged, so that's good. Are they apparently going back? No, they're coming over with more? Not quite sure. Hmm. I'm a little suspicious of this. I don't like the fact that I can't see where they are. They're somewhere doing something fishy. If I could get, get England out of the war, I would love to, but we can't really. Mm, okay. Tell you what, here's what we do. Four cavalry, all of our mercenaries... And then other infantry. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, lovely, Brittany. You went down there for that. That's uh, super useful. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Alright, Morocco, we're gonna have to go to war with soon again to get that core back. For Christendom. I don't know. Um, I actually think it'd be better to have this guy go across. He's more maneuver and stuff. Morocco re-rivaled us. I don't mind that. I actually like that. Okay. And uh, this person, this army up here is going to take a while to do that. And they're probably going to focus on that. So that's good. Let's, let's go ahead and uh, get working on these islands. We want to completely destroy Portugal in this war. That is the goal. Hey, we got two cardinals. Nice. You know what? Let's start doing that. 
All right, I was gonna say they probably do have a an army there, but you know, we dealt with it. I don't see their navy moving, so that's okay. There's an army. Hold on. Where are you going? Where in the world are you going, England? What are you doing over here? Yeah, I was gonna say they probably have another army there. Mm-hmm. Still. Got it. No problem. Mm-hmm. Navy squish. Okay. Bring them back up to here. Nice! We'll smash that little navy on the way, or they'll move. Either way, it's fine. They will get smashed. Cool, Brittany, you can bring your troops back. <laughs> I don't know why you had them over there in the first place, but whatever. Um, let's go ahead and get going. So we have Portugal completely occupied, which is good. Now we gotta go deal with the English scum. We are actually caught up on military tech. At the beginning is the hardest part, so I'm gonna go ahead and raise war taxes now. I think it's worth it. Still... Uh, why are we still losing money? Is it like corruption or something? No, it's just maintenance. You know what? Okay, I was worried it was that. No, I think it's just reinforcements. It's mercenaries reinforcing, so it's expensive. That's fair. Um, Go this way around, please. And thank you. If we can just beat up a couple English armies, maybe get one of their forts up there, siege, then I think we should be okay in this situation. I don't mind saying it were longer. We need... <laughs> heck, I need a lot more... a lot more points. Uh, a lot more... I'll do a score of points. Okay. Uh, not a lot more... what is it called? You know, you know what I'm trying to say. You don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry. Points. Admin points. That's it. Okay, so what do we do? What do we do here? Try to hold the woods? Oof. Locked in. We gotta fight him. We fought him. We won. Not bad. Where do we go here? We gotta move forward cautiously and together. Huh. Hmm. Oh, they're going back up there. They're running, the cowards. Okay. Might be starting trying something sneaky though. I don't know. Wouldn't put it past them. Oh, I was gonna say I just saw that guy go past and I was like, oh, he's going to siege back his country. And then they'll start getting another army in place because of it. No 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 no. Hold on, we gotta take care of that guy. It's very important. Navy's coming down here, that's suspicious. Army, probably gonna be landing. Yeah, hold on, we gotta come back down here. Too risky, cannot risk this situation. Yep, I was gonna say, bet you anything, they're coming up here with an army. Look at that. Landing in Vizcaya. Vizcaya is Grasslands, Rip, 25th of March. We can totally make it back before then. Not sure that one will be able to. This is a powerful navy, but I would be willing to delay their progress a bit with some manpower, or uh, some some losses. Uh, we can get get, get, blah, blah, blah. get our first government reform. We have feudal nobility and eh, whatever. Noble privileges. We're not going to switch this one, I don't think. Uh, strength and noble privileges. National manpower modifier or national tax modifier. I think manpower is just the way to go, especially because Castile's not great with manpower. It's one of Castile's weak points. 25th of March. Stay in this... They have another army? Excuse me? We might actually be able to do some damage to this. This navy. They don't have an admiral in charge. Is, that's part of the reason. Hmm. That's not good. Rip. Uh, we're actually going to be able to beat that navy. Holy crap. We captured ships. We captured ships. Oh, that's amazing. Hold on. 
Okay, that's incredible. That's an incredible turn stroke of luck. It puts the the balance of power slightly more in our favor. Um, get that combat general here. Get this general here. Yeah, smash, smash! I don't mind taking them out in battle. Just destroy their army. There you go. Look at that, you did it. Okay. Get rid of the, <laughs> the Portuguese army running around. Okay, what do we do next? Uh, da, 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 take admin power, definitely. 100%. Take that tech. Just so we don't get ridiculously far behind. Uh, and then I, I don't know, I guess we, can we go down to Morocco? Can we go through Moroccan land? We can, okay. Not sure how, but we can, so I'm not going to complain. The longer we stay at war, the sooner they'll eventually have to just give up. We're not going to be able to take everything, are we? You know what? We can cut the coastline off, I'm pretty sure. And that's all I care about. More than anything else, that's what I care about, at least. Isolating them, that's fine. They already lost everything else here. This is good. This is a good situation. I, I enjoy this situation greatly. This is a good start to a campaign. Hold on. Wait a little bit. I don't want to suffer massive attrition. Avoided the tick. Oh no no! <laughs> Hold on, one of you has got to stay there. <laughs> Forgot about that. Um, you, Seuss. Uh, Seuss. Hey, I can pay off your debt. Oh, look at that! I can pay off your debt too. I might as well. I'm gonna actually do this once. Oh no! I just realized that's not good. This is not the merc mercenary army, so let's not do that. We'll go down there and beat up that army, but I think one army will do. We just want to switch that general. England is so annoying, they're just like popping up everywhere, right? It's like whack-a-mole, they're just like, you know, pop up in one spot, pop up in the next, popping up everywhere. Okay. We should be improving with like our allies, if we don't have anything else. Um... Yeah, let's do that. That's right, you better go there. You tricky jerk. Yes, absolutely do that. That's a great event. This is Dryland. Screw it, I'm attacking you here. Get out of here, England. Wanker. Look at that! Stack wiped! Oh, so satisfying. Whenever you get a stack wipe against England, against anyone. So satisfying. Cool. Now please stop bothering me. <laughs> That's impossible. That navy is coming up here to land troops, I bet. How much you wanna bet? How much you wanna bet? Yep, yeah, look at that. This time, they are not even bringing their whole navy, so... I will easily destroy you if you leave... Uh, okay, you're, you're lucky. Destroy their navy. Look at that. Now their navy is trapped. And there's no land bridge between Calais and Kent, so you're screwed. You're screwed, buddy. You're screwed. I just want to get England out of this war ASAP. I actually, mm, you know what, it's so tempting. I'm so tempted to take an English province because here's the thing, England is one of our other main competitors, colonial competitors, and eventually long term I do want to control all of Western Europe, all the colonial countries basically. France is the other one, you know, um, and I guess the Netherlands too, but 
you know, I want to control in England eventually. Uh, that is a big part of my long-term goals. I should have mentioned this earlier in the stream, but um, well, a big part of my long-term goals is actually going to be to control England as well as um, as well as like Iberia uh, and the Mediterranean, controlling the English Channel trade node. I actually really am into that idea, and I feel like we should maybe start on that earlier, sooner rather than later. Could, is Cornwall still a country that has cores? It is, ooh. I mean, here's the problem though, is that we already have so many, so many other, um, what's it called? We have so many other vassals, but I wouldn't mind going over for a little bit, annexing Navarra now, and then getting Cornwall as a vassal. And I mean, I'm, we're gonna have Aragon hopefully soon as well. And that's unfortunate. That'll put us way over the limit. But at the same time, at the same time, it's so juicy. The other thing is we could just conquer conquer it directly, right? Conquer Cornwall. Three development province, I wouldn't mind that. Gives us an, an in into the rest of the country. Because uh, I really want to do that early on. I think that'd be kind of fun, right? The Spanish Armada succeeds in this timeline, but earlier than it did historically, 100 years earlier, uh, we managed to succeed. And then... Uh, and then as a result, uh, work our way into that trade node early on and have a cultural union of the Castilian English crown. I don't know, some silly thing like that. But I, I really like that idea, you know? So I think I might, I think I might take that if, if it is at all possible. We might have to go over there and get our hands dirty, but if they're not gonna peace out yet anyways, I don't mind. Is that their whole navy? Did we really destroy their navy that easily? Yo, we did. What in the world? How did they fail so miserably with their navy? That's the one thing they're good at normally. France still likes us. I can't even believe that. We have, I believe, until 1500 for the Iberian wedding. Let's hope that Aragon gets a female heir. Yeah. It's, it's going to be a huge thing for us. We have permanent claims on all their land, though. So even if it fails, it's like... Once we get 1,500, we'll, we'll just be like, yeah, okay, murder everyone. <laughs> Not everyone, obviously, but, you know. And three development is not going to be any big drop. It's not going it's it, to... It is going to be a drop in the bucket, so I'm not too worried about that. We will probably do a vassal feeding um, in England, or in, uh, in Britain, rather. Um, but we'll probably do Wales instead of... Cornwall. Um, we'll do Wales um, eventually and feed them like a bunch of stuff, like Ireland maybe. You know? I don't mind. Not that we even really need to worry about Ireland as much, but... I, I don't care about Call for Peace. Um, yeah. Please give me the... <sighs> Rip. Do these even have any blockading power? They do. And we got that siege back there. Cool. You guys are screwed. England, uh, will you give me a province? Ah, oh, okay. That's unfortunate. So that makes it seem like we might not be able to get over here. Maybe we take a Norman province instead? Ooh, could work. No, it's 12, 10 development though. We have to occupy a fort in the area. That could be either this either this or that. I really hate to do it, but I think this is just such a good opportunity. We're not going to have any other opportunities to get to war with England from this point on. I'm going to do this, as crazy as it might seem. I'm actually going to do this. We need more admin power anyways before we do this deal with Portugal. What is our war enthusiasm, war exhaustion? I wouldn't mind spending some points to buy that down, honestly. Okay, yeah. All right, yeah, let's... Uh, da, 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 da. Hmm. Okay. Um, can we get 
No, no way to really get more power protection. We're gonna have plenty after this war, though. So, and actually, this is a good thing to get our this army up here, anyways. Is Cornwall just farmlands? Oh, ah, an imperial reform. Hmm. Might be relevant when we become the uh, emperor. <laughs> I actually really want to get that achievement, Spain as emperor. It's not like it's hard to get. It's just I've never gotten it. Actually, wait, do I have that one? I might. <laughs> Might be lying. What? Where'd their... Where'd their armies go? Did, did Scotland declare? No, darn. I was hoping that would be it. Oh, hold on. No, 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 stop that. We have, a, we have enough to take everyone here. I might just let those guys take over for a while. Actually, that should get the call for peace to go away. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> but still. Um, I, I can't split up my army now while we're about to land in the British Isles. I don't care if the the rebels take over a little bit of stuff. doesn't matter. It still won't be free of occupation, so... As long as we can land... Oh, this is actually going to be a little rough. I just realized. Okay, that's fine. We're going to we're going to win this naval battle though. Yep, they lost, they lost another heavy. Not still not fully um what's it called? Still not fully gone, but you know. like to destroy that navy. Did we destroy it completely? No, we still haven't. Okay, it's fine. We'll get one tick. Yeah, I don't care if you guys siege, whatever. I'm actually gonna gain manpower since the start of this war. That's a good sign. That's always a good sign. I'm gonna do that once. Just now. I would like to avoid it getting high instead of having to buy it now when it's already high. If we're going to buy it down, might as well do it now. Oh, you know what? We're totally fine. So do we go for Montgomery? Go for the hills? Or do we go for London? I think we go for London. Yeah. We can, we can blockade London. Destroy! Oh. Hold on, this is another one that we can just siege down. Nice. Four days left. There we go. Now join. We're just destroying their navy over and over again. It's great. I love it. No, don't do that. Right, I guess that's as far as we go with that. Ridiculous line of destruction of navies. They actually have a decent amount of army over here, so we got to be a little careful. But Hey, look at that. Brittany's going to go and deal with that stuff. Nice. That's perfect. Yeah, I have enough army here. I think I can fend them off and hopefully not get sack wiped. That's the idea. We'll hope. England, will you just let me get the one province I want? I just want Cornwall. I want your Cornish game hens. Please. Please give me your Cornish, ga Cornish game hens. Hey, Brittany, thank you. Actually helping immensely. I don't mind staying at war for a long time. If it's going to give us a good benefit, it's a, a, a little uh, uh, foothold into a whole nother area that's very important to our expansion long term. This will be long, long term before we ever really expand a great deal in England, but 
I do plan on doing it at some point in time, sooner rather than later, to try and cut off the colonial power at its core. You know, just get into the trade first, uh, first off, so we can trade on the East Coast efficiently, and then also just cut off their um, their ability to colonize early on. I, I would that's my goal. France is going to be harder, obviously, but if we control both sides of them, then we can get in easier uh, into France, and that will help a lot. So that is the goal. Um, yeah, have the the Isles and Iberia done locked down first, and then we start squeezing France in the middle and get whatever France already has colonized. I don't mind having some stuff that's not our culture already colonized, but uh, we want to have the East Coast and everything be able to colonize and benefit us now before France. I think France is also like one of the later ones on the colonial scene most of the time, so it should be totally fine to to wait a little bit on them and then cut them off from colonization. We should not have much competition from them early on. Hey, normal person, O10, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Defender's Dessert. France's Papal Controller. No! This is not fair. Uh, as, when we conquer Portugal, we'll get more Cardinals. It'll be fine. I wonder how much aggressive expansion we're going to get from this. I don't have any with anyone in Europe right now, so... Oh, wow. That's a really good event. I think I'll do that. I think it's worth the loan. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. And yeah, let's go. Cool. We can finally get out of this war. England, screw you. Give me Cornwall. I want your Cornish game hens. With the discontent modifier? Uh, which discontent modifier? Is the one I'm not aware of? <laughs> um, which one? Um, I'm sorry that I don't know what you mean. Virginia. We can humiliate as well. That's amazing. Let's go. Let's get money. You guys get spammed by the AI. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know, actually. There's not really a foolproof way to deal with that, I think. Besides just, I guess, just dealing with it. You know, I know that's not a satisfactory answer, but um, I don't know. Yeah, I guess spam with the AI on that, too. So, All right, cool. We're going to have Cornwall. We're going to have our... Um, we're going to have our our foothold into the British Isles here, boys. I really like this idea of getting Cornwall right now so we can already start conquering the Isles. Well, it'll be an, you know, we'll have the Isles up north and Iberia in the south, and then we'll squeeze France in the middle. Uh, it's going to be a while until we are strong enough to, you know, fight France one-to-one. -one. Um, once we get Aragon, it'll be easier. But, yeah, France is, uh, is the real, you know, big blue blob, the pain of Western Europe. But... Um, we'll have Portugal after this. We'll have England a way into England so that in the future we can destroy them. Let's go. This is only for themselves. Cool. Get screwed. Nice. And that's cheap, so I don't mind doing that. And actually, we need to come down here now to deal with our rebels before we can do finish this off truly. Cornish Separatist. I could, I was like a... Ooh. Okay. So I will actually not join this war. And it is terrible because 50 prestige. A 50 prestige hit is huge. It is huge. It's because we're guaranteeing them. We're not just allied to them. But I have to get rid of this. I have to get rid of them. I cannot keep this as an alliance. Not if Aragon is going to be in the war as well. Yeah, no, there's no way I keep this alliance. No way. It is worth the hit to get rid of Yeah, that sucks, but we're going to do it. Okay. That sucks. Um, so, normal person, if you are still here, the... Um, one thing I could offer you is like humanist ideas really help. Humanist ideas are always good in this game, but they, uh, uh, especially if you have situations like that, like if you're always getting spam with the discontent thing, um, those are a, that's a good idea group, um, humanist. Um. Two stability. We have two stability. I'll take the hit. 
War exhaustion is getting up there, so this is good that we can do. Ow, you wankers! We're gonna win, but that's painful. We lost five thousand manpower or more in that battle. Okay, Lord, getting the heck out of this war. We got a hundred percent war score. So, what can we take? Can we take everything? Can we do it, please. No, we can barely not take everything. Hold on. Humanist ideas. I'll show you. Uh. They have this right here. This is one of the better things that Humanist Ideas has. National Unrest minus two. So that will combat to that. Um, that's the that's what you're talking about, like, right? Like national discontent causing um, unrest, right? So that combats that. Um, not to mention tolerance of heretics and heathens means that any religions under your control, any religions that you are over, that uh, mm, any provinces that are not of your religion whatever it is, will have <clears throat> essentially a minus three as well. So all in all, your own, the provinces of your religion don't get that bonus, but it kind of means that you can actually not worry about having to convert other things. Um, religious unity also does that, uh, helps with that. It actually helps with stability cost too. Uh, yours of separatism down means that when you conquer new stuff, it'll actually uh, take 10 less years to uh, your legitimacy is always at zero. That's not good. Um, any reason why? Because it should come up over time. Uh, give me a moment. Hmm. Okay, question is, what do we do with Portugal if we can't... Uh, we can't do this. We're still not going to have a bad coalition, so that's totally fine. Coalition is not what I'm worried about. It's the fact that we can't get the Azores. Seven development. Eh. Wait, why can we get... Da, 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 da. Hold on. Why can't we get this one? We can't make it a core? That's the reason? It's too far? Hold on. But if we take this one, and then we still can't... We actually just can't make it a core. Okay, so never mind. We couldn't take anyways. Don't feel too bad. Mm okay. We can take their whole coastline except for one province. That will probably prevent them from colonizing effectively. I'm not worried about it. Let's go ahead and do this. 